Welcome to Doomsday Day One. I am the colonist. I am a business. And we have four huge matches, including our main event, the King of the Spring Finals, best of three. But we start out hot with a triple threat exceeds championship match. Huge match on the line. Noob Saibot defends his belt against Sephiroth and Mario. And this is all off the cuffs, AB, of an incredible two-month King of the Spring tournament that we are going to see culminated and the main event here tonight between the Joker and somebody on Spidey, and I know that you have been around for a lot of it, and it has been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? Yeah, sir. Yes, it has. And now that uh, now that Corleone is back in the fold and back here, and we're hoping that that will restore some order here, here comes Noob Saibot, the Exceeds champion, who, as a result of the shenanigans between Saibot and Mario and, and Sephiroth over the past several months... Uh, Corleone decided that this match was going to be a triple threat so that everyone had a fair shot, nobody could gripe, nobody could bitch. We're going to find out who is truly deserving of this Exceeds Championship, and Saibot, ever the fighting champion, agreed to take it down. Here comes one half of his uh, challengers, Real Referee Mario. Now, I know, A.B., you got a chance to talk to Real Referee Mario about the shenanigans he pulled back in the day. Do you think he stands yep. a chance tonight? And what did he tell you about this triple threat? I think it's definitely a possible thing that's going to happen that we're going to see him do some moves. He just busted out the mushrooms on me, and I had a bunch of those mushrooms. Those mushrooms were good mushrooms, and now we're here in the arena. This is the Mario. So you're having a really good real time here tonight. <laughs> Mario, man. Mario, Mario, man. I just got that, that mushroom, man. It's great. That's right. Well, and uh, hopefully no feuds with Donkey Kong Rogan in the future, but... You know, no, 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 but but what are the stakes now that Corleone's back and he and he are uh, are also handling some business tomorrow as we found out yesterday. Uh, tell us what the stakes are here in this matchup as Sephiroth gets to the ring. What are we getting? So uh, if, if Mario wins, we get a whole bunch of his crazy mushrooms. Wasn't a briefcase yeah. of mushrooms the reward last time he wrestled? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah, it was. Yeah. Is it the same? Is it the same briefcase? I, I believe it might be the same briefcase. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. How long have those been sitting in there? We're gonna get a whole bunch of smoke. Yeah, I bet. Well, we've already been getting a whole lot of smoke. At least at the time no. of this recording, my lungs are in pain from the no. smoke. But we can thank all oh, those great people in Canada, but hey, for that. Right. Here comes. Sephiroth, and you know, excuse me, folks, Michael Corleone brought me a great big pint of Italian gelato back from Italy, and oh, I yeah. just decided to crack it open here on this occasion. Sephiroth having a lot to prove in this match, A.B., oh, yeah. after basically falling short to Mario on TAW to, to earn the title shot for the CIW versus TAW back in March, he competed against Noob Saibot when real referee Mario at the WrestleBration screwed up with all of that. So now, he really feels like he's got to get a win here if he wants to feel like he's worthy of challenging for this belt ever again, considering he has not gotten his true fair shot yet. Mm -hmm. So you got this, A.B. Well, Dr. Rob, we, would, we get ourselves our own custom samurai sword. Long samurai sword. Hell yeah. That sounds great. I would love a samurai sword. Well, personally encrusted with our names on it. Personally encrusted. Wow, that's 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 real. That's all quite a lot from Corleone, but that's what two months off will take. But speaking of things that are prestigious and encrusted, right now, Noob Saibot has got the name on that Exceeds Championship. Will that be the case at the end of the night? Here we go. And uh, referee Jerry Jones assigned to this contest. We're gonna have a couple cycling in on the night. And. That is going to be now so far the champion leaving the ring and Saibot and Sephiroth have only had one match together so far. Sephiroth and Mario, if you remember AB, at CIW versus TAW, it was Sephiroth who beat up Mario in the back mm -hmm. to give Noob Saibot the advantage in that CIW versus TAW match. Nice body slam there from Saibot. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yes. And this has been a so far, it seems like everybody is just feeling each other out here because they really, none of them have had a quality one-on-one -on -one match with each other yet. 
Oh, man. Well, A.B., I know that I know that you have been very close and with Symbiote Spider-Man and his Bellini here for heading up later tonight, and I know that his head, maybe the biggest match of Symbiote Spider-Man's career, nice dragon screw. Heading into this King of the Spring Finals, and remember, folks, while the Exceeds Championship's on the line right now, a world title mm -hmm. shot at the time of their choosing between Joker and Spider-Man in the best of three falls in the main event. That is what is on the line here tonight. We also have the tag titles on the line and also a big grudge match between Satan and Riddick. You do not want to step away from this show because it's doomsday, baby, and this is the only place you can find it in CIW. But it being... Hey. Oh, hell yeah, man. And now look at this. Now Mario, Mario, I'm super rather, just beating the hell out of Sephiroth there in the corner as Noob Saibot is smartly, A.B., really just kind of staying out of this. He's really the watching it all out and feeling it out and probably going to hop on the back of the team. What are we getting, uh, by the way? We never mentioned what Saibot, if we if Saibot wins, oh, what we get. Oh, a whole bunch of smoke. Again? Oh, no, what did we get? We got roasted coffee the last time with him, which was delicious, yep. by the way. Mm -hmm. That I am, I mean, that kept me awake for like four days, though, the first time I tried it. Wait, what a second. This warp oh. pipe hit the warp pipe, but was too close to the ropes. Wow, wow. And that is one I thing like I do that. love about Corleone's run in CIW. We get so much stuff. Oh, yeah. Especially after the trip, they found a whole bunch of nice uh, and frequent talent and treasures, which uh, helped really bring up the network. What did you get? Uh, Cause what did you get with Italian treasures? Oh, I um, I I uh, I uh, I got, can't really disclose some of the stuff I got from those Italian treasures because Italian treasures were were not a uh, bottle. Well, yeah, you could have just said they were legally paid for, and nobody would have said anything. What what a, what a Sephiroth accusation! There he's going out the side bot, and Mario tried to break it up, but you remember it is one fall to a finish. No, uh, there are. Disqualifications that would just kind of throw out the match entirely, and Cybot would retain. But there are no uh, countouts in that respect. And once again, Noob Cybot is letting the challengers just wear each other down. Very smart picking his spots here by the champion. These guys go at it. Well, this is the spirit of competition. This is what it's all about. We've seen some remarkable triple threat matches. And do you think that there's any hidden resentment still from Sephiroth and Noob Saibot regarding TAW and real referee Mario's allegiance with them? Even though the feud is long since over, just the way that Mario just imposed himself upon the Exceeds division. Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, these guys always try to keep themselves at the top and make way to keep themselves. Well, and, and the Exceeds championship is a good way to do that. Of course, oh, yeah. we saw Noob Saibot lose to Captain Pollution, and that's how Pollution got the number one contendership for Kratos' world championship later on tomorrow night in the main event. So, you know, there is something to say about the Exceeds Championship being a stepping stone for greater things. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And uh, Noob about the only... Oh, nice sweeping DDT there. And uh, I heard that Abir, that Corleone gave you some delicious treats as well oh. for this, uh, in memory of this oh, occasion. What do you got over there? We got some peanut butter and Sicilian jelly jam. Oh, wow. That sounds delicious. Italian bread. Italian grapes. Yeah. Italian bread. Thank you, Italy. Yeah. And the peanut butter, I don't know. It tastes like Jif. Not going to lie. Well, it very well could be. I mean, I, I, to my knowledge, I don't know that Italy is really known for its peanut farms. And mm -hmm. I, I could be wrong about that. Um, if you are in Italy, folks, if there are any fans from Italy, please tell us. Are there peanut farms in Italy? Corleone won't tell us, and uh, if it is just Jif, then we'll know. Wait a second. Here comes the shadow bomb onto, onto Sephiroth, and oh, landed right, right on his head. Right on his head, and oh, what a throwback. At a perfect time for Mario. He could go for the cover here. Instead goes for a flip, and you said he would flip a lot. And part of me thinks that Mario just likes flipping for the sake of flipping half the time. A nice heel kick there from Sephiroth. 
And well, who knows, when you're on those mushrooms, who knows what, what's going through your brain. The wonderful thing about the mushrooms is they pop in and they pop out at all the random occasions. Oh, so it just, it's not like a consistent thing. It's just all of a sudden you just hit it. Yep, well, many of you are looping it, looping it, looping it, looping it, and now you're just going. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I love it. Well, just tell me that you won't break this announce table if uh, if you end up doing that, because you said he gave you some. Hey, a whole bunch of them. No promises. Whoop -de -doo. All right. Well, well, then again, if you break the table, we get a bonus. That has been established. And Saibot leaving the ring again. And then exactly Sephiroth good? and Mario kind of go at it here. Now, keep in mind, it is the first fall. So if Sephiroth or Mario pin each other, they will become the Exceeds champion. And... Wouldn't that be some cool irony if Saibot ended up not being involved in the equation and losing his title belt? Mm, man, was, if he loses, he lose it. Yeah, he said, I mean, that would, re I mean, every champion gets a rematch clause. That's part of CIW. That's always been a part of CIW. And now outside the ring again, sure. all three of them now. Is there count out now? There's a triple threat, or is there no count out? No, there's no count outs for a triple threat, but there are disqualifications. So if somebody, you know, uses a chair, the match will be thrown out, and Saibot will just retain his championship. Mm. And now, wait a second. Saibot oh. springboard and got Sephiroth right at the last second. And But Mario not looking too hot at this moment, is he? Oh, man, he's trying his best. Sephiroth. Well, neither Sep happen. Sephiroth is just played out. Sephiroth's down, man. And now, you gotta give Cybot credit. He has really done a big job of doing big brain moves here in this yeah. match. Both his challengers are laying dead because he just let them beat each other. Oh, getting his breath in. Very smart play. Oh, shoot, Mario. Well, yeah, wow. What a big shoulder block there that he got. A, a vicious lariat. And Mario now... Starting to get a little pissed off, probably. I mean, this is a two-time Lightning Weight champion. He's used to these titles being easy to acquire, and yet he lost to a foot to the back at CIW versus TAW. So, oh, yeah, it didn't seem to go on that with Saiba just slamming Sephiroth's head into the barricade. Ow. That is vicious. <laughs> Bopping him. Yes, and, and Sephiroth, he's got a big nose. And uh, the beak of Sephiroth getting assaulted here. And let alone the concussion damage that could ensue from that. And down he goes. And yeah, Sephiroth not looking good. And this is all in the name of the Exceeds Championship, folks. Which one of these three men will walk away from Doomsday? The CIW Exceeds Champion in our opening match here in the first of our two-day spectacular. Thank you very much for being along with us. We've got a lot of new viewers, folks. In the last two months or so, we've gotten a lot of new viewers, and we thank each and every one of you for joining. And in that vein, AB, so far Jerry Jones has stayed out of the way, but there's a way that these fans can help shield Jerry Jones from incoming danger. You tell them how it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all need to go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and interact. Hit us with a comment. Save, save the ref in the chat if you are down to save the ref. Save the ref in the chat if you are down to save that ref. That's Let right. Hear you now. And folks, Kevin James. Oh, wait a second. Another warp pipe. This time the Sephiroth. Sephiroth's got a lot of And right immediately, Cybot was there. <laughs> Tried again. <laughs> Tried again anyway. <laughs> Cybot was literally right there. <laughs> and he tried to get the pin again anyway. The balls that took from Mario. He tried, man. He really is feeling either desperate or he's rushing to try and get that win. He's well, tired. you can tell the sense of urgency here. Mario hasn't been looking too good. Neither has Sephiroth, and now neither's Noob Saibon. All three of these men getting pretty tired. Oh, man. Triple threat, man. Triple the action, triple the result. That's right. And all in the name of, again, with that one guy right there, you know you got to eliminate him. We, the last triple threat we saw, AB, was a 40-minute match with the Shades of Black. Oh, geez, and now yeah. and now a cover there after a Russian leg sweep from Mario who breaks it right up at one. Maybe we gotta start talking about their private backstories and something's gonna want to try ending the match right I there. know. Well, to be fair, they've all gone after each other really hardly. And now wait a minute, a second roll up. Side outside of the ring could be poorly timed. Two and no. Oh almost yeah. had him. Cybot missed. Close. 
Cybot missed. I didn't see it at the time, but Cybot did not get the breakup on the count. But Mario, oh. just in the nick of time, got the near fall. How's it, y'all? And an AB oh. that was that was pretty wild, considering that Cybot had left the ring several times, and that time it almost cost him the matchup. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that fruit roll up, Sephiroth, dude. That's right, and that's that's a good way to win a belt is on a fruit roll up. But oh, wait a second, yeah. another shadow bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Sephiroth has taken every finisher <laughs> so far. And Mario, <laughs> Mario <laughs> still the bay though. Oh my god. Man, this match has been quite intense, but a knee to the gut. That was an intense knee to the gut from Mario, or from Cybot, rather. Now another dragon screw, Sephiroth down. Man, I'm, I'm like wicked impressed by new Cybot. This has been a tactician's effort here by our Exceeds defending champion. I really wanted those samurai swords, man. Well, hey, this ain't, this match ain't over. You could still Ooh. get those matches. Anyone could win this. That's the amazing part of a triple threat match. It is still anybody's game at any time, in any circumstance. And, I mean, remember how many times we thought that Neo was going to win that triple threat and Riddick just happened to grab it right at the end? True. That's true. You know, you just never know. Oh, and now, now Jerry Jones got slapped in the face. <laughs> get out of there, Jerry. And now another warp pipe to Sephiroth. <laughs> right there. And another... <laughs> Mario. Really try. He's, you know what? The tenacity. The tenacity of real referee Mario. And now, oh, look, a small inside cradle. And no, Sephiroth there to break it up. And, man, these guys are... And now a roll up. So much action! <laughs> Cover one, two. He got him. Sephiroth oh, retains, oh, or Sephiroth God. lost, out to a fruit roll up. Oh, and Noob Cybot, I said a fruit roll up would be a good way to win the belt, and little did I know that Cybot would do just that. He rolled him right up. Man, what a match! A B, fast paced, fast action, and a quick pin to give our defending champion the W. It moves, man. It moves all the ninja for Yeah, and you got to tell you what, with uh, with all that smoke that we're going to be getting, oh, no, I can see it drifting in. It's coming in from oh, Canada, is he? Is Noob Samba Canadian? Oh. Dude, can, well, might be. We're, we're going to have to figure that out, but he's still your champion, Noob Samba. But coming up next, we've got a grudge match from when what they say is where there is smoke, there is fire. And right now that smoke is coming down, but we've got a big man match. Big boy match. Riddick Big boy. versus Satan. This match is eight, nine years in the making, AB. Yeah. Almost to the day, actually. If you recall, way back in 2014, there was a one on one match between Riddick versus Satan, and Riddick dominated Satan. And up until, up until 2016, that was the only loss that Satan had ever taken. Until the quick mm -hmm. pin after the match and Bruce Lee won the belt. Shout out to Corleone's dogs. We're still sitting them. And, mm -hmm. and now fast forward to Revelation 2022. <laughs> Satan soldiers versus the Dark Alliance. It comes down to Riddick versus Satan. And Riddick beats Satan again. Mm -hmm. So this Satan kind of feels like Riddick has his number, but he is so insanely furious he is going to take his aggression out on Riddick here tonight unless Riddick can come out and, and teabag Satan for a third time. Do you think Riddick can go 3-0, A.B.? I wonder, man. That's going to be something to see. When was the last time Satan blew into the arena? Last time we saw Satan was actually during that 6-on-6. Six six at Revelation. That was his last time we saw him, and he has not been around. He missed CIW versus TAW, which is honestly no surprise. Uh, I, I don't expect Satan to be a CIW loyalist, and I nor did I ask him to be one. You know, I, it's, he's kind of doing his own things, as you know. I'm eating a dessert anyway, you know. But this is just the way that it is. And instead, I think that Satan has been spending that six months, A.B., just festering about Riddick, obsessing over Riddick. 
and Satan, the way that Satan asked for this match, he sent me a text that said, me, Satan, Doomsday, Riddick, happen, make. He's not very good at texting. No, no big thumbs, big thumbs. No, he's not good at texting. But I understood enough to know what it meant, and here we go. And uh, referee Luke Goss assigned to this contest, and a nice headlock takeover from Riddick. Who you got in this one, A.B.? Oh, man, it's a Titan versus Titan match, man. It's going to be something to see. All I know is that we're going to get some cool shades if we uh, Riddick wins. And if Satan wins, we're going to get ourselves a whole bucket of red paint. I hope it's paint. I, I hope it's paint as well and not more ice cream. Not not yeah. glowing ice cream because I don't know what... Oh, what a power slam. And, you know, I don't know what Satan's plans are. You know, he isn't... Re Again, all I got was the text. That's the only communication that we've had with Satan since Revelation was that six words in kind of a jumbled english that's about all we need i think that's all the man needs that and then a bunch of power yeah well he's got the power there's no disputing that a god he, or a, well he technically is a god he's just the god of evil technically you know at least that's the way that i've come to understand what a big punch from riddick now let's talk about riddick here for a second because riddick a has a new movie coming out and that is always seems to bolster the the ups on wrestlers as we saw with symbiote spider-man they did the end of the spidey verse and now he's in the main event tonight it's true now where's Bim. satan going where the hell is satan going satan kind of trying to lure riddick out to the outside satan where the hell are you going bro going on man and now they're trying to look maybe trying to lure riddick back to the ramp but i don't think riddick is going to go for that and a little weird, interesting game of chess there between these two. Is that a healthy respect from Satan? I don't know, man. I think he's got something up his sleeve. Do you think Satan is capable of respect? Because right now, oh, another power slam. Because right now, Riddick is all over Satan. Oh. And a low blow. And now vaulting him into the corner. And... Rid and Satan vowed that he would absolutely destroy Riddick here tonight, that we would never see him again in CIW, and I don't know how true that's going to be. What a backbreaker. Big words, man. It's really big words. Well, you know God, Satan. Hey. He's he's strong in the hyperbolic. He really mm. exaggerates a lot. I mean, you were with him, or at least in communication with him a lot back in the day, allegedly. Yeah. So, like, so tell me what his mindset is when he's getting ready for like a match or when it all comes to pass. Like, what telecommunications would he give you that you don't remember, allegedly? Well, I always remember swimming through the red, allegedly pools of fiery bliss. I always get little messages of, oh, "I like fairies and gumdrops." Do you That's like fairies and gumdrops? That's not my thoughts. That's the thing. It's a very sweet voiced angel just singing in our ears about all the wonderful, lovely things he loves. I love puppies and sunshine. That's like the, the stuff. And I think that was, I think that was Satan, man. Yeah, I oh, I bet it was because I, <laughs> Satan is, in fact, the originator of elevator music. So it's probably, <laughs> I assume, I mean, the way that I've come to understand the whole Satan's old get up down there is this is just one gigantic waiting room and there's no. Like, you get called, but there's no actual doctor. And what an elbow drop and push-ups. Wow. And, you know, the one thing I have to say I'm really impressed with Riddick about, because this guy kills all these weird demon aliens. Oh, oh now, come on. Come on. Lucas didn't deserve to be swept like that. Oh, no, wait a second. This is not a no disqualification match, and Riddick said no. Ooh, having it, my God. Riddick with just an elbow. Wait a second. Oh, God. That's a barbed wire hey. bat. Right oh, to the skull. Oh, and now again. And the referee, Lucas, is down. And now just getting rid of the evidence. Oh, wow. What? Oh, man, man. You said he had it's something hurt. up his sleeve. Well, it turns out it was something under the ring. That barbed wire, man. Who puts that stuff under there? We gotta have people check those things before here. Look, that's hey, this is the same people who put the explosions in the pinball machines. I don't know why Corleone does it, but Corleone does not let me talk to his contractors. Oh, and now, oh God, over the top rope. And now the momentum is completely in Satan's favor after the barbed wire shots while the referee was down. Wow, so look at him go for that leg. And Satan 
clearly still the despicable, well, man of evil that he's always been. Good to know that that has not changed. Now slamming Riddick's head into the steel. Sunglasses first. A Boomba. A Boomba oh, indeed. Oh man. oh man. That is a lot of epidermis that just ended up on those steps. <laughs> so much so that Satan exhausted himself doing it. Oh shoot. Now the referee's Did counting up to Oh, no, he's not. He's not letting it happen. No, I was going to say the referee was counting. It was up to eight. And wow, I was just finishing up that dessert. And wow. it was a, oh, oh, no, wait a second. Yeah, maybe that's why he didn't break it up. This is Satan's Fury. We've seen this powerbomb put away many a competitor. And down goes Riddick, but he can't pin him on the outside. But, A.B., I kind of get the impression that that's not what Satan's trying to do. Oh, man, he's taking full advantage. Now, again, breaking up the count. I think Satan could have won this match with that Satan's Ooh. Fury. But that Ooh, doesn't say, oh, hey, 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 come on now. Ooh. Come on now. We don't need the table broken. At least that's not our table, AB. But, oh, it may, uh -oh. It may not Ooh. matter. It may not matter. You know, as the great Dr. Evil once said, throw me a freaking bonus here because it's an elbow drop. Through the table, I will take that money. Thank you, Michael Corleone. Thank you. Instantly deposit to our account. Don't That's right. That. Direct deposit. The second it happens, direct deposit. Ah, oh. tell you what, man, working for Michael Corleone is the one of the greatest things that could have ever happened to CIW. And full credit, full credit to Riddick. Oh no! Busted open. I was gonna say full credit to Riddick for getting up after that elbow through the table, but. It was almost like the second I said that, Satan was right there to bash his head into the ring post, and Satan AB is getting way more aggressive. Oh my god, god damn. Man, this is this is aggressive even for Satan, man. He's putting in that fury, man. I mean, two in the, two in the third option is one for three and Well he yeah, he does not want to lose three times to the same guy same guy, excuse me. And Oh, man, let me, let me and the go. fact that Riddick just seems so nonchalant about Satan, like Satan's like, I'm the god of evil, and Riddick's like, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm Vin Diesel, like, I don't care. Knee drop! <laughs> and all the credit in the world to Vin Diesel for going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Satan and still holding his own, even though Satan has really taken the fight to Riddick here in this matchup. But Riddick is still trying, slowly but surely trying to fight back into this. But the power of Satan has been quite a lot. And now, uh-oh, another side slam. Riddick's not having it, man. He's still holding his own. He is only as well. He doesn't want to lose to Satan after being the only man to beat him twice. You know, that, that does a lot to him. And Riddick, considering he's really in large part only known for his shades of black time if he beats satan here one-on-one -on -one, that is a huge get for his singles career and more push-ups that arrogance man that arrogance is unreal but it is the kind of confidence that these people have seen riddick exude and that's why they've really started gravitating toward him lately and a punch to the dick Damn. Referee Luke Goss still keeping control. Now Riddick to the top rope. Elbow drop and Satan had gotten up just in time. And just nobody there for that big high risk maneuver. But that doesn't mean that the tiny Satan balls are not going to be assaulted. Ooh, tech check. That's right. And we've seen this many times before. The most technical move in CIW. And... I don't know why there is so much uh, genital assault here in CIW, but, you know, people really, really, really want to win. That's the only thing I can, way I can describe it. Let's do that. And now, oh, oh, God, what a knee into the gut. As Satan once again takes back control, even though Riddick really gained some momentum there. And, uh oh this could be bad. This could be bad. What has Satan got planned here? We've seen this before. Uh-oh. Not a fall away slam to the outside. 
And that blacktop does not get any softer, folks. And, and you know what the worst part is, AB? We don't repave it. Yeah, oh, we don't. God. Can't afford it. Can't, well, we can. We just don't want to. And no, not another Satan's Fury power bomb. Are you kidding me? But once again to the outside, AB, almost as a statement of, I don't want to beat you, I want to destroy you. Oh, not again. Not again. Not another like, Satan's Fury. Wait, counter! Ooh, we countered it. Counter from Riddick. And Riddick slowly getting back in the ring. And if Satan can't get back in the ring, oh, no, then beat the count. But now Riddick has got Satan in the corner. And, God, Riddick has lost a lot of blood. And he's still, and he is still fighting hard. Hit him with that shoulder, I'm telling you. Yeah, and it's third win for Yeah, well, Riddick is sternly starting to meet around, and it's not very often you see somebody go this toe to toe with Satan. Even though this is his first match back after losing in that six on six, it was still a six on six, you know. And now an elbow drop, another elbow drop, and push ups. More push ups, man. It makes you all want to go down and drop and get into them. It does. Uh, it does. And if, if I could keep my headset all, oh, wait a second. It's the Riddick clutch. It's the Riddick clutch. He could get it here. That's what he beat Satan with a revelation. And Satan, oh, and he got out of it. But that could be it. The cover. Could Riddick have beat Satan again? Ooh. Two, three. He did it. He did it. Riddick has done it. Riddick has climbed the mountain and beaten Satan for a third time. That has got to be demoralizing, AB. Oh, yeah, big time. That means we're getting full shades and sunglasses. That's right. Well, it's a good thing, too, because I'm pretty sure I left mine in your car when we went to Raw. But <laughs> now I don't have to worry about that at all because Riddick has got that on lock. A brilliant effort here from Riddick. And the Riddick clutch does it against Satan again. How will Satan respond and now we know someone, at least, has that man's number. Mm -hmm. And where did Riddick go from here? Now, hey, wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. What is what is this? Oh, who's coming? What is what have we? I've seen this before, but is is this what I think it is? It's Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper's here. Grim Reaper is here now. If you were Cole A B. When we saw the six on six, we, they made sure, at least Satan did, that the Grim Reaper was counted out, and we never got to see him really in action. And Grim Reaper had chased Satan out of the building, of course, when he showed up at Thanks Grappling, and now sauntering slowly to the ring. <laughs> but what does this mean for Satan, who is still here, and oh, he's not looking good. Uh oh. AB, this may not be Satan's night. Oh, wait a second. Uh oh. Going for a choke slam. Oh, choke. Oh, God. What a choke slam. And, oh, shoot. you know, AB, couldn't happen to a nicer guy to tell you that you're not another choke slam. This time. Oh, no. All the way on the outside. What a choke slam. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've seen this before. The Grim Reaper with the tombstone pile driver. In this to say, this man is going, getting buried. Rest in peace. Wow. I think it's safe to say, AB, that Grim Reaper and Satan have some unfinished business with each other. Ooh, and he's just freaking leaving. Yeah, no. boy, you know, it's not very often that you could say that Satan just had an overall bad night, but tonight was not his night. The summon symbol, the blur from the Grim Reaper, and now we've got a tag match. Yes, sir. Man, I don't know what to make of that feud between Satan and Grim Reaper. There's still clearly something to be done there, but this is a big-time match. Healthy respect between these two teams, the Justice League and the Greasy Green Gigolos. AB, I am so excited to get this match going. Here come the tag champions. Here they are. And, 
Now, we saw these two beat Incredizone, the tiny-legged Incredizone, to win these belts. And they have yet to have a title defense of me, uh, except against Incredizone. So this is the first challengers that they have had of just CIW cohorts. And do you think, after Piccolo beat Batman pretty convincingly, that they are shaking any about losing their championships here tonight? They're coming in confident. They're coming in ready. They seem like they're ready for a good old fighting job. They're going to try to maintain their titles. That's right. Well, this is a big tag division. We've seen it before. We have know it before. And here comes Reptile. One half of the Greasy Green Gigolos and the reception that Reptile is getting here from this crowd at Doomsday. Mm. And I tell you. This, the Greasy Green Gigolos have definitely been a crowd favorite and also a party favorite. They've been partying around town all week, AB. Oh, yeah. All day. All and, the time. Did, uh, do you ever get a chance to go out with them yet? Oh, yeah, man. All down around town, man. It's, it's a fun time, except for when they want to go in the sewers. I don't, I don't, I don't like the sewers. I'm not a fan. But they like it. They're like, we're getting slimy. Well, that's like a 2, 3 in the morning deal, though. That's like after all the main stuff is done. That's when it starts getting weird is that time, right? Yeah. But that's when that's when it's time to leave when they're like, I saw a time. Yeah, that that's when those really good shirts they got come off and, and that's that's time to go. But here comes Piccolo. It's, that's right. Piccolo, normally the captain of stoicism, has really come out of his shell here in CIW and it has nothing to do with the love for Princess Peach. Oh, it might it might have something to do with that. Do you think you mm. think Piccolo is the thing for Princess Peach? <laughs> Look at him dancing, man. He, he's feeling it. He's feeling it real well. Go. Well, he certainly is feeling it. Of course, we've... Uh, oh. Speaking of uh, speaking of Bowser, actually, uh, I've heard that Jack Black, who is not on this card at Doomsday and lost in the first round to Neo, uh, was a bit shaken by that. And uh, I think that there might be some more some changes coming to Jack Black. I believe uh, it. He's uh, on yeah, he, uh, he said, at least in no certain terms to me, that at the very least... He's going to change up his look. And I don't know what that means for Jack Black going forward, but I am interested to see it. But right now, we have got intense tag team action. And, and between two respected teams here, healthy respect between each other, I am excited for both of these guys and all four of these guys to put on a hell of a tag team classic. And now that's what it's all about. Are those blurry-ass CIW tag team championships? And Jerry Jones is holding up. And now, hey, wait a second. Wait, wait, hey, wait, what the hell is the Penguin doing here? What is Penguin doing here? Penguin, a part of the the trio that involves the Flash and the Joker, since the Joker has started acquiring people and this stupid Joker punch of doom that happened in the second round that tainted the integrity of the championship. The that's something. The brutal tag match, that, or the one-on-one -on -one match that Joker had, and, and just leaving the Penguin at ringside. And I guess that's what he's doing here, AB, but but what's his interest in this? I don't understand this at all. I wonder. He's just walking around and milling around. He is, and, and, I'm, and Aquaman and Batman have got to keep their eyes open. And now, oh, God, back body drop. Good drop. Now, do you think... Do you think that there is anything, and I'm hoping I'm wrong when I say this, but, you know, Batman and Aquaman are both a part of the DC Universe, so they are both familiar with with the Penguin shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they are going to be better prepared to deal with whatever Penguin is down here for, better than the Greasy Green Gigolos will? I think so. I feel like uh, Penguin has a deep-seated fear for Batman, because, you know, Batman beats people up. It's true, he's beating the Penguin up. We've seen that on one or two occasions. Oh. Oh, and yeah. now, oh, what a spinning heel kick from Reptile. Very nicely executed. And These guys are in for a good match. They're trying to get themselves some belt life right here. I can see it. Well, and, and Aquaman, of course, a former two-time Exceeds champion in his own right. And now tagging into that man, Aquaman. And mm -hmm. now a double team, or it looked like it was going to be a double team. Batman leaving the ring, and, and now looks like Penguin's following him. And what are they, what are they chatterboxing over there? Mm. And that was a very interesting interaction there. I don't know what to make of that. Piccolo tagged in now. And now what is the Penguin doing? Just lurking, just circling like a vulture. 
Yeah, I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't trust that either, AB. Now Penguin leaving the ring, and now, oh, now getting right back in. All right. Teased us there for a second, but, you mm -hmm. know, remember, AB, as you know, the outside is kind of like the Wild West in CIW, and anybody can fight anyone when somebody's thrown out, especially in a tag match. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, remember when we saw the Pink Ranger try to get involved with the Blue Ranger and Eclipse? And a nice yeah. spike pile driver. And uh, sadly, that did not work out well for the Pink Ranger. Mm -hmm. At all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to run down to the under cooler under the desk. Oh, hey, ref! Oh, wait, wait a second! Maybe I won't. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe you shouldn't cooler. because now the referee's down. Jerry Jones was assigned to this contest. Penguin's in the ring. What the hell is this now? And now Penguin just staring there and watching. And the referee getting back up. And this time getting out of the ring right before the referee came to. And now a nice half Boston Crab there from Piccolo. Oh, man. But I don't understand what the point of that was. And, of course, it was interesting to note that Aquaman can't tap out if the referee isn't there to call for the submission, even though there was a half Boston Crab there. True, true. I'm not saying that's happening, but, oh, maybe that is what's happening. And oh, now punches true. to the head from Penguin to Piccolo. All right. You don't tell me this is what the bottom line of this is. Are you telling me that Penguin and Aqu or ba and Aquaman and Batman are all in on this? A DC takeover. My Come God. on, that can't be right. That can't be right. Come on, Penguin, hit hit. Oh and oh, <laughs> and I don't know whether that was intentional that Batman smacked against the table, but I'm I'm not so sure that is what to take away from this, but. A clover leaf, therefore a lily pad, if you will, from Aquaman. Oh, okay, good. Batman's now the legal man. And now, wait a second, what's Penguin doing? And Penguin with a big slap to Reptile. Oh, A B. Oh, Don't tell God. me this is what's this is what's happening, isn't it? They're in cahoots. Aquaman oh, and Batman God. are in cahoots. They're in on this. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. What is this? It's injustice is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. That's good, though. And now, Gail, the sharpshooter. A sharpshooter as Piccolo could not get to the ropes. And again, come on. You didn't come need on, to do guys. that to Jerry. Now, wait a oh, second. Jerry. Wait a second. Special beam pile driver. Maybe he did because now there's no referee to go for a count. Damn, a big club to the back. And now, and... So much for a respectful matchup between these two teams. Seems like Aquaman and Batman don't have a damn problem with Penguin going in and calling his own shots. I tell you. And but you know, I'll give it to the green guys for holding their own throughout this. Well, this come on, Grease. Come on, Piccolo. Come on, Reptile. Don't let DC take the advantage here. And AB, if that means that if these two retain and Joker wins later tonight, they can end up with three championships. Now, oh, what a power slam. A turnbuckle assisted power slam and Penguin again making sure that Piccolo can't get more momentum off that power slam. That was, like, that was something, man. He's doing random turnbuckle. Piccolo, so physically imposing. People, as usual, they doubt and they don't respect Piccolo's fighting ability. He's so gifted. He's a big man. And, He's got moves. And yet, and yet... And now a tag into Reptile. And Aquaman has uh, made a living out of kicking Ninja's asses. He told me that before the matchup. So I guess that should have been a clue. True, true. But, you know, what's disheartening about this, AB, I expect this from Aquaman. He was part of the Shades of Black back when the Shades of Black were a problem in CIW. So this I expect from Arthur Curry. I'm not that upset with him. What does Batman have to gain from this? Aligning himself with the most hated villains, what he's sworn to fight against for forever. And an elbow drop. Probably trying to maintain his title. Well, I, but since when is Batman so afraid to keep his championship? When has Bruce Wayne been afraid? Except for when Scarecrow did his little Misty Mist thing back in the, for that first movie, but... The Misty Mist, man. That stuff, that's some crazy stuff. Yeah, that was. But now, back and regrouping our DC, I guess, we should call them. 
Maybe, yeah. maybe because of the integrity they've given up, they should call themselves done caring. Oh, got him. Because they seriously have stopped caring. And I can't tell you how disappointing as a broadcast journalist and a member of CIW from the beginning, this makes me seeing these guys stoop this low to the Joker's level. Okay. And remember, AB, the Flash is involved in this as well, and where is he in this equation? Mm-hmm. Where is he in this equation? Man, good question. And now, now Piccolo has got Batman on the ropes, but Reptile's the legal man. Reptile's the legal man, and now thrown back into the ring by Aquaman. Batman now getting the uh, little bat babies assaulted. Oh, uh, bat babies. And uh, now very cocky pin from Reptile. <laughs> and, you know... I appreciate the cojones it took to do that, but that might not have been a good move because here comes a bunch of jabs from Batman. And we know Batman with that big bat punch, a hell of a striker. And these four men, and now you can hear, you can hear Corleone's dogs in the background barking their disapproval at what we are witnessing here tonight. And Penguin, Penguin, no. Penguin, they are mad. They are really mad. Corleone's <laughs> <Penguin, laughs> dogs are ripped. See, you see what you've done, Batman. You see oh what you've God. done, Aquaman. You have riled these dogs up to oblivion because you guys can't seem to just have some honor amongst heroes. These dogs are crying out for justice. They, they, this, there is, been, this, that's right. The dogs of war are incensed. And now Jerry Jones is down and the Penguin. <laughs> oh, the rub oh, no. is down. The, the dogs are livid. And they're still going at it. <laughs> Folks, this is atrocious. This is just despicable. Oh, and the Penguin with a back suplex on the, on the reptile. Back in the ring again. And now a Penguin plunge. Oh, no. A penguin plunge to reptile, and now out of the ring, and right as Jerry Jones gets back up, that's the third time he's been tripped, by the way, by the penguin. Dragon screw. Yeah. Although, that's more of a reptile screw, because he's the one who's been screwed out of this tag match. Oh, and now a cover God. here by Aquaman 1, and Piccolo right there to break it up. The match God, saved. Like Come on, Greasy Green Gigolos. Oh, you guys so got this. Oh, go. Maybe you don't got this. Penguin getting in uh -oh. and vaulting him out. Come on. Mm. Reptile going out to help his partner. I don't know how good an idea that is. I mean, if the, oh, what an elbow drop. Oh. Aquaman with a top rope elbow drop. That was amazing. And now a penguin plunge. Amazingly disrespectful, I should say. And now a insiguri. And look at DC. They're laughing about it. They're having a grand old time. My God. I tell you. This is this just is rude. A sharpshooter, the count up to five. And now the penguin just, what's he going to do here? Fall away, slam onto the ramp. And that's oh, solid a steel. Out, a count out still wins, huh? Oh, yeah, well, of course. They don't, all they care about, like you said, AB is retaining their belts. They could do that with a count out. Uh -huh. Penguin now going to fall away, slam reptile. And now they're both dumped out on the ramp. And it's a, god damn it. It's a count out. And I don't want to call them the Justice League anymore. Because that's not what they stand for. Uh, they are done so caring. They're clearly done caring here. And now we know that the entirety of DC is all in cahoots. The, the Justice League retain. AB. I can't believe it. I'm, I am so frustrated. And I'm so I'm upset. And I was, can't believe the hounds are mad. The hounds are mad. I'm upset. mad. But was this the plan all along, AB? And now we get I to see know. the head of this organization fight a man who I am now rooting for more than ever before in CIW. Oh, yeah. oh, Bully yeah. Maguire, Tope Maguire, Symbiote oh, Spider-Man versus the Joker. Best of three falls. It is the finals of the King of the Spring and your main event of day one. Oh yeah. We were a part of a hell of a tournament. You saw quite a lot of matches yourself. You got to see about Seven or eight of what we see, like nine of them? 
I think. Something like that. And this man was the man you saw climb the mountain and do the unthinkable from the 13th seed and make it here into this main event. He's here, y'all. Bellini. Bellini. And I'll tell you what, A.B., the addition of that finisher of the Bellini has come in handy quite a lot in this series of turn. Would you like to hear the competitors that Spider-Man has beaten to get to this point? Oh, yeah. He has beaten Magus in, a, in an Iron Man match where he came back right at the end. He beat Nathan Von Schrader, who got way too drunk. He oh, beat yeah. Dr. Dirty, and he beat two-time CIW heavyweight champion Bruce Lee to get to this point. This man has gotten a career resurgence of a lifetime thanks to King of the Spring 2023, but in his way is the master manipulator. Thank you, Oka. The master manipulator, the man who... I don't want to say I took him to be an, an honest man because I clearly didn't when I hired him for TAW versus CIW and took him from TAW at the time. But now the Joker just decided, well, I just have fun fucking over people. And that's what he did. He tarnished the Josh again in half bracket of the tournament in the rebellion block, appropriately so, because Simba Spider-Man had a conquest to make it to the finals, and the Joker yeah. rebelled against CIW and cheated and conned us all to get to this point. Oh, man. And now we have a best of three. Now, this is just singles matches, folks. There's no stipulations attached. The best of three falls is the stipulation. We're going to have a 30-second grace period in between each matchup. First to two wins. Here we go. It's your main event. Referee Jonah Hill assigned to this contest. And a collar and elbow tie-up starts it off. Who you got, A.B.? Oh, man. I'm going with the Bellini, man. Man, I'm, I'm, I am I'm I have to out of necessity now. Backbreaker. Good start. And well, there are stipulations for who wins tonight. Uh, we get a lifetime supply of Pope Bellini Greenies. That's right, y'all. That's Big right. Big bunch of jars. Symbiotic. Sassafras tomatoes. That's right. And you know what? It's a great, uh, I was using the Tope Bellini cream. So that is a uh, wonderful for like livening up your face. It really does like exfoliate your pores. Really good stuff. Knee to the gut. Mm -hmm. Get that young human adult look. Yeah. That you always wanted. I feel like maybe that's partially why the Joker is outside. Wait, is, oh no, come on. Jonah Hill gets Russian leg swept. Didn't we see enough of that? in the matchup we just saw and a punch oh, to yeah. the face and now oh taking the turnbuckle off while the referee is down oh and this is all sadly textbook joker what kind of ace is up his sleeve do you think he has in store for spider-man tonight oh god pain, pain and suffering but pain. i don't I think that'd be allowed to happen well this is now if you recall ab this is not the first time that spider-man and the joker have been in the ring together Remember Thanks Grappling 2022 when the Spider-Man had a one, somebody just called out for a match and Spider-Man decided he was going to be the guy to fight the guy who we took from TAW? Mm. That match was pretty roof brutal when it came to Joker just beating the hell out of Spidey, who's got a cover here too, and no, only two there not able to catch him. So this Spider-Man and Bully Maguire is looking for a little revenge here. And that is what we're going to have hopefully given to him. And now those, oh, we saw this before. We saw this before. And now just punches to the head. And we saw that an innumerable number of times back at Thanks Grappling. And now a cover well, here could be over one two and no only two and i am mistaken it was not thanks grappling 2022 it was revelation day one in which spider-man fought the joker mm -hmm. and but the point remains the joker was pretty brutal on him and oh what a knee to the gut and i think that jonah hill kind of got caught in the crossfire cover oh, there wow. but a rope break too close to the ropes there on that exchange wow and We've, we say it every time when we talk about Iron Man matches, but how important they be, especially when there's only three falls in this match, how important is fall number one? 
Oh, I think it definitely makes a big difference. Oh, yeah, and the Joker could have it here, too. And no, only two there. Symbiote Spider-Man kicks out. Wow. And oh, yeah. right now, and of course, that big ace in the hole that we saw like 12 times on Pepsi Man after Pepsi Man was assaulted by Wario in the back prior to that match. Yeah, that was another thing. Joker gets insanely lucky in the sim in the semifinals. You want to hear how he snuck his way into this matchup, AB? Oh, yeah. He beats Mr. Incredible actually pretty fairly. He, he beats Mr. Incredible. Then, in the second round with the Joker and the Penguin, the Joker executes what he called the Joker Punch of Doom, which was him punching the Penguin and the Penguin just laying there for him. Oh no! God damn, and now Jonah Hill just got thrown painfully so out of the ring. And now, oh, oh no. God, not this. We saw the Joker with the chair in the semifinals. And this time, Spider-Man, like you said, AB, not allowing it. Not having it. No, just it's the weak God, grinding the forearm into the face of the Joker. So they do that and they screw over CIW by not giving you the match. They do the one punch, Penguin goes down, then they laugh about it. Then in the semifinals, or in the quarterfinals, Joker beats Prince of Persia actually pretty clean and he just tells Penguin to watch. And then the semifinals, Pepsi Man is going to fight the Joker, but Wario assaults him in the backstage and the bar, and another shot to the ref. And Joker, you gotta be careful, man. You hit the ref too many times, he's gonna call it on you. And now, oh god, now another vault, and the Joker has completely taken over this matchup, AB. Yep. Uh oh. And Trouble. missing that shot. Now, oh, no, shot, another shot with a chair. And oh god, what oh, a it, chair it, shot. It, oh, jeez, Spidey's getting beat with the chair. Oh my god. So then, after three oh. Goldman Sachs by Pepsi, on to Pepsi Man by Wario, which facilitated their Hell in a Cell match tomorrow. The Joker strolls in and basically just teabags Pepsi Man for 15 minutes. And Jesus. he's I guess he's trying to prove that he is a big dick. Was what was that about? Oh god! Shouldn't have done it though! Oh. Here comes the Bellini! Bellini. Bellini! He pointed at his balls and he got a knee to the face. Yeah, that's what you get, man. And you gotta be careful you get that happen. But I'll tell you, AB, I don't know how smart it was for Symbiote Spider-Man and Bully McGuire not to go for the cover off that Bellini. He might have gotten the Joker there and gotten that first fall. Ooh. That is three falls. That's right. And then the best of three falls and now too close to the ropes there by Spider-Man trying to get an arm bar and stop that ace in the hole. And that was just a... A slight jab to the gut. A second oh. slight jab to the gut. Oh, do it again. And I'll tell you what, that did slow Joker down, though. Slowed down enough for... Oh, wait a second. Springboard! Got him! Kinda. And this is going to be a very, very intense matchup. But, of course, this is for the long haul. We don't talk enough about when we have these long matches like this. They'd be just how much your stamina has to be at top physical condition stamina, stamina to the parameters. that's right the stamina is the parameters and now Simba Spider-Man not looking to go oh, come on Joker there's no need to abuse Jonah Hill he's beating him down he's just beating him for no down. reason yeah, take it back. Him the but again you know what that is it's the Joker just saying yeah I never cared about CIW and oh <laughs> into the crowd Spider-Man threw Joker into the crowd! And now brawling on the outside, the fight is on here right outside in this crowd area. And have Spider-Man now slamming the Joker's head on that monitor. Man, and these two are fighting with everything they had. I think Bully was really pissed that he got beaten down so painfully by the Joker revelation. And, oh, no, not another Russian leg sweep. Yeah, you should get disqualified. Good. Good. I'm glad Jonah Hill finally stood his ground. That's good. That's, That's good. good. Symbiote Spider-Man gets the first fall. He deserves... Get punished, Joker. Get punished. Mm-hmm. You... Big time. Yeah, that... You did not... I'm. The... Spider-Man was still... Still going at it, but... You can't say that the Joker really... <laughs> I mean, the Joker lost that matchup, and he paid for it by... 
<laughs> flying a little too close to the sun, but going, well, I don't care, you know. I'm the Joker. I can do what I want. Not, mm -hmm. not here, folks. Not here, buddy. Nice try. Yeah. Here comes match number two. You made it easier for Bully. And, oh, come on! You just I got disqualified. That was such a rude move. I, wow. And a chair shot. Another chair shot. And the Joker is just obsessed with these chairs. Move with the chairs, man. My God. Joker got disqualified ten times in that Iron Man match with Pepsi Man because he just kept hitting Pepsi Man with a chair. Clearly oh. does not give a fuck. Oh, my God. And I would just, oh, now slamming Spider-Man again into that exposed turnbuckle. We have a ring crew that sets those turnbuckle pads back up in between matches, and he was just like, nah, we're going back to the way I set it up. It stop it! Joker! Stop oh. it! Oh, he's going at him. Y'all gotta like him. Dude, uh, like him. we're gonna use all of our likes to fix up Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill and Jerry Jones are... Oh, you got the chair, y'all. You know, Corleone comes back, Kevin James is on tomorrow's show, and another oh. chair shot. Jesus. This is just despicable. And now the referee who's right there, come on, don't hit the referee, come on! Wow. wow. This is just disgraceful. And now, and now an ace in the hole, a big ace in the hole, as if Spider-Man could even come back from that. He just got hit six times with a chair. A.B., I don't know what to make of this. It's just the, the blatant disregard for any respect of the institution, A.B., I just I just don't sit right with me, man. Oh, but you know, Spidey's coming right back, popping back out. Yeah, come on, bully. Win. Come on, bully. You can win this. Nobody yeah, believed you'd be in this matchup, myself included. Give him another Bellini. Give him, give him ten Bellinis. Give him a billion Bellinis. Bellini is goddamn head off for what he's done for CIW and two CIW. Now leaving oh, the ring, yeah. catching a break. And I don't know what the Joker's doing now. He's just splatter boxing and whoa, whoa, and a great whoa, catch whoa. there from Spider Man. Did not let the Joker do whatever he was gonna attempt on the top rope. And Spider-Man now only what? needs one victory here to win the King of the Spring. All he needs to do is pick Joker once. Stop hitting wow. the referee. For fuck's sake, Joker. That's right in the face. Literally. Stop. Now, folks, the reason why you've not seen consecutive disqualifications is that it takes five assaults in order to merit one. That's the rule for CIW. You hit the ref five times... You're done. That's how that's how it is. You hit the right. The same thing with hitting a you know being in the ring and hitting a legal man when you're not in the match five times. You're out. That's the rules. So Joker really really using that to his advantage here. And poor Jonah Hill, he's just getting assaulted for no reason. Is it? Is he upset that Jonah Hill is just a better overall like has a better body of work? Might be. Is there, do you think that there's anything personal between Jonah Hill and the Joker? I mean, two separate universes, but he's a villain and he is a hero, so that's that normal, uh, you know, that you know the, the dynamic. Yeah. Oh no, a low blow. The ultimate battle of good versus evil. That's right. right here, folks. And Bully McGuire, and both of these two inhabit the same, not the same universe. This is Marvel versus DC, technically, but they inhabit the same city. Mm -hmm. You know, Gotham and New York City, at least rather synonymous. Oh, Joker now up to the top, and a punch missed, I think. And, you know, come, oh my god. Damn, taking that ref down. How easy get That's four, right? folks, by the way, in case you're counting at home. He's got one left before he gets to, could you imagine Joker just disqualifies himself out of winning the King of the Spring? That'd be pretty funny. But, you know, I don't think the Joker is that much of a... How do I put it? I don't think the Joker is that dumb of a competitor. This man is known to be the mastermind of very sophisticated and eloquent plots. 
I mean, I'm sure he wants to win. Yeah, I, I have to imagine that the Joker's game plan here is victory, especially with the CIW title match at the time of his choosing on the line here. And mm -hmm. the fact that Symbiote Spider-Man is even in title match contention is pretty remarkable, AB. This man has had a few title chances, but not very many. And oh no! Now just slamming him down, and the referee was still down. And now SWAT, now look, come, wait a second! Oh wow, wow, he took the ref and him out. And I'm, not, I'm a little confused as to how the referee, I guess he must have just gotten back up when Spider-Man was getting hit there. And now another ace in the hole. This is this is just disgusting, oh, AB. This is just disgusting. Ain't messing around, man. Jonah Hill, and I'm surprised Jonah Hill isn't busted open. Another chair. Come on, man. Come on. The referee is up. The referee is up. What is this? No disqualification now? And oh god! And it was a oh this was a first blood. This was a first blood match. I'm just getting oh, Corleone god. just texted me and goes. Yeah, they were trying to make each other plead. Oh, well, now we know. Oh. And little did I suspect, I thought this was just an original best of three, but I guess I was just told, and again, again, they just came back yesterday, so even Corleone is trying to get his shit together. You can't blame the guy for that. That's wild. And now I'm getting told that this is either going to be a, a pin or a last man standing. And what is the Flash doing here? Oh, shoot, Flash. What, what is the Flash doing here? This is... Come on, man. There's no reason to do that. And now Spider-Man going right after him, saying, get the hell out of here. Jesus. As now the score is tied, and this is this is not going to end well, I don't think. And now, as if he needed... And now, I oh, Spider-Man bots. Guys, guys. Look. We just spent all of our likes to send Corleone and Kevin James to Italy. We mm -hmm. cannot afford you to hit the referee this much. Atomic drop to the flash. And now we know that it, it is going to comprise all five of these guys, isn't it, AB? All five of them. Aquaman, Batman, the Flash, Joker, Penguin. The whole DC takeover, man, that's crazy. Yeah, it, well... And now, <laughs> Spider-Man is like the last chance to stop that from happening. And the Joker's just watching this. The Joker's just watching this all unfold. Now, punch to the yeah. face. And Spider-Man, come on, Toby. Come on, Tope. Tope. You can win this, and now the Joker leaving the ring. This is not going to be good. <laughs> and Spider-Man really not happy the Flash is here. <laughs> He's going at him, man. He's like, you get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but, but here's the quote. Well, of course, because those two were drinking buddies back in the day with the Flash and Spidey. So mm -hmm. I think that Spider-Man is just offended at what's taking place here. Sweeping DDT. Jesus. Now both men back in the ring simultaneously. Oh, wait a second. Bellini! He hit him with the Bellini. The big Bellini! And Joker is down. And, of course, this is... That 30-second rest period, giving them enough time to recover here. This is, for all the marbles, the all-important Game 3, Tope Maguire. Woo. And the winner of this is the winner of the King of the Spring, the two-month tournament elbow drop. Hitting him with it. And, uh, and folks, we apologize for the late communication on that match, too, but this is, in fact, the last man standing. And another Tope. Let's go. Hit him and, with the Bellini. Yeah, Spider-Man, he is, he is incensed. I think he is quite upset at the way that this matchup has gone down up to now. Between just the non-stop assaults of Jonah Hill. Toby Maguire and Jonah Hill are friends as well, AB. I know that you've talked to Toby Maguire about this. Oh, yeah, he's been trying to prepare and get ready for it all, but... Dow's been prepared. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Flash. Flash came here and he's Flash showed up for this game three and he has just gotten the teetotal crap kicked out of him. <laughs> but yeah. you know what? Good, good. Take these DC arrogant pricks down a peg after what they've done here tonight. 
with retaining their tag belts and now with what's taking place with the assaults on the referee, atomic drop. And now another Bellini! Another big Bellini! Get him with the Bellini. Right, and of course, this last man standing means that the referee's gonna have to count to 10. And the referee's mm -hmm. count of 10 will determine who wins and who loses. That It's pretty simple, folks. They have to keep going and beat each other up until one cannot answer a 10 count. Thumb to the eye. Or, or if one's red. Well, theoret well, yeah, theoretically so. And I, I do appreciate our medical crew down there just getting Spider-Man cleaned up after getting busted open and kind of just getting him back out there. Big elbow drop. They use the staple gun. That's right. Well, yeah, that's right. Normally, people would be in wrestling who use staple guns, use them to inflict damage. We use them to repair people. <laughs> and again, <laughs> the Flash. Spider-Man, maybe, I don't know, A.B., is he concentrating too much on fighting the Flash right now? Just a little bit. Because this is really, he's got to stay focused on the Joker, but he does know that if the Flash gets involved, this could be twice as bad as it could be. Oh, God! Crossbody to the Flash. Spider-Man yeah, saw what just happened with the numbers game in that tag title match. You know he's thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Big time. And Bully McGuire, you got to give him credit, though. He has kept the Flash at bay. And maybe proving he's one step faster than the Flash? Oh, but <laughs> Miss went right between the two targets. Now, wait a second. Stair shot. Oh, no! And Spidey going after the Flash again. Chairsha, there we go, <laughs> Spider-Man. There we go. There you go. There we go. And a third Bellini. And is this going to be enough? And Joker gets right back up. What is Joker on right now? What's Joker on now, AB? And what, what did you give him? Um, uh, a little bit of the magical mushroom over the Mario. <laughs> Well, let's hope that Mario doesn't join this DC crew because I don't think he'd quite fit in with the with the alliance here. But another crossbody attempt there from Spider-Man, who is fighting like a man possessed right now. Oh, an and an elbow drop, and it looks like he might have gotten a kick to the face of Joker. It didn't quite land the way he thought it would, but it did hit him. Now sweeping the leg here in your main event. You're a huge main event. A Bellini. Oh, hit him with a Bellini. Another Bellini. You asked for Bellinis, AB. You're getting them. Damn right. Damn right. But all it takes, he's got to wear out both. And he's got to wear out the Joker at least. The Joker at least, he's got to break him down and make sure he cannot answer a 10 count. And oh, what a drop kick. Damn. A big drop kick into the corner. And you can tell the referee who has not counted here at all so there are no count outs there are no disqualifications in this match and now all shots to the gut again and this time now the joker another now not a choke bomb not a choke bomb god damn and the power of the joker you don't really see the joker do a lot of strength moves oh man he's busting out man my gosh you know they both are man well that's what a world title match at any time is worth to these two men. That's They're what it's all about, AB. Yeah. This is your main event of Doomsday, day one. Thank you, everyone, for being here on a Saturday night to watch these two high-end competitors go at it for a two-month culmination here at the King hey, of the you. Spring Finals. And, oh, hey, yeah, major, major show. And, of course, stay tuned tomorrow night at 9 for the big five-man Matchup that includes AB, you being in the corner of Corleone as he faces Sagat. Oh, yeah. That's right. Have, that's right. We have the women's champion. Oh, wait a second. Not the figure four. We've seen the Joker use the figure four before. It it hasn't beaten anyone, but he's 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 done it. That was a good setup for it. Hey, and then could that be an again? You know what that did, AB? You know why that was smart? Bellinis. Bellinis. You take mm -hmm. out the legs of Spider-Man, it's going to be a lot harder for him to hit those Bellinis. He's no, got pretty conditioned play. He does. He does. And that big elbow drop, evidence that Spider-Man is not giving up here. Drop kick, and now the referee's oh. count begins. 
Count up to three. Oh, he's taking out the Flash. If it gets to ten, Spider-Man's going to win this thing. Oh, Six, two. seven, eight. eight. Come on, Spidey. Nine. Oh, Ooh. and the Joker gets Ooh. up at nine. Wow. I was. I thought that Bully McGuire had actually handled this. I was ready for it. I was so ready for it. I was so here for it, but not quite yet. The Joker fights on. You know, oh God, what a drop kick into the corner. As Corleone's dogs do not like DC. You can tell they are very upset at anything DC right now. Effect. Yeah, and you know, when the dogs get angry, that uproarious anger from the dogs, that's when you know that you have done something truly heinous. And what an inverted side slam. And now this time, it's Bully McGuire that's down. Referees uh -oh. count up to three. Jonah Hill, come on. Come on, Toby, get up. Come on, Toby, Blocked get up. Do You're not lame. let the Joker win this. And oh, yeah. the referees count to seven, and the and Spidey fights on, still in this thing. Come on, Bully McGuire. And the count again. The count up to four. Come on, Toby. Come on, Toby, you can do this. And Joker just staring at him. Come on, Toby. Oh, now a slap to the face. But Toby's up. Bully McGuire is up. Top rope. Drop kick. Nobody there again. Jeez. Oh, and Spidey, as much as I admire his top rope gymnastics, I think he really needs to focus on just getting a Bellini and getting the hell out of here. Especially with the flash uh, still looming. Oh, wait a second. Not, not another choke bomb. This time on the concrete. But look at but AB, the Joker is hurt. Joker is hurt. These two have been beating the hell out of each other for three matches, AB. Now the Flash. I, I do have to give credit. Maybe the Joker, like he did before, told the Flash, hey, get in the corner and just let me handle it. Mm -hmm. And the Flash now getting thrown out of dodge again. Oh, and the Joker with a nice counter there. Not an ace in the hole. An ace in the oh. hole. And they can count on the outside. Jeez. Not an ace in the hole. The count now. Two. Oh, come on, bully. Come on, bully. Kick out. After one too many shots to the flash. Seven. Eight. Oh, come on, bully. Come on, bully. No. And wow. Oh. Flash, what are you doing? Good job. Flash, yeah. why? Did Flash just have a surprise act of consciousness? I, man, I don't understand that. And the Joker does not look happy. He's going, Flash, you're fucking this up, man. And it's not outside of the realm of possibility that the Flash would just do something that just not knowing that that was going to fuck up the, the overall plan of the group. Flash, what are you doing? Yeah, fly, watch and learn, Flash. Why don't you just sit there and watch the Joker <laughs> as he's now taking all. away the arm. And just as I thought that Bully McGuire was out of this, the Flash, whether intentional or not, saved him. And <laughs> Toby McGuire has had enough of the Flash. If you don't get out of here, yeah. check him out. Flash is just being an, a nuisance. And now back in the ring is Symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah, there you go. Get an equalizer. Turnabout. Oh, no, not in time, as Joker was right there. And now another figure four. And another big figure four, and trying to take that Bellini. We saw three Bellini to start this match, AB, and so far the Joker since has really tried to take those knees down. And then, and oh, man, was that enough? Was that enough? The cover... The three, the refs count. Flash! Flash! I don't know whether you recognize you're doing it, but you're really messing this up for DC. I don't think he's understanding the assignment. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think he gets the concept. He's like, beat up Spider-Man more? No, I'm trying to win. And, and Flash, 
He's just too ambitious, AB. I think that's what the issue is. He wants to be the number one. He does. He does. He's going. He's just trying too hard, perhaps. And now, oh, God, and a chair shot. Oh, chair shot hit the oh, flash. My. The chair shot hit the flash, but the DDT busted Bully back open. And, folks, that could be it. Flash is dead, thanks to the oh, Joker, who's like, I've had enough of you. Come on, Bully, kick out. Not, not like this. Not like this. No. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> The Joker's won the King of the Spring! And now what? Now what does this We're mean? Gonna get a laughing gas. Of course, the Joker now has got a title match at the time of his choosing. That is a very, very dangerous proposition. I mm -hmm. We know what yeah. he's capable of with this kind of power. The Joker mm -hmm. has never been stronger, AB. And personally, I'm a bit afraid as to what that means. We'll see what happens. Folks, day one of Doomsday. What does this mean for CIW? Was this Doomsday after all? We'll see you tomorrow, folks.